This, this is crazy. What? How did we do that? Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're trying what I think is the best Ares build in the game, the Magnetar Pulsar. So I've used these weapons individually, but I was thinking, I'm like, what do I put them together on the Ares? So now we have a 600 meter range. I know these weapons fire fast and do a lot of damage. So let's see how much damage they do together. And we're here on Canyon, which is perfect because obviously a 600 meter range, you can have lots of space. And we do have three overdrive modules. so. That'll be a 75% boost in damage, which is like insane. And then on top of that, we do have our pilot skills loaded up, Octanian drone, and boosters. So let's move to this beacon here. Kind of get in a sense. Oh, this Ravon on the left side. Oh, so he is Pulsar too. We got Sinister Pulsar, man. Okay, he knows what we have too. So he's probably... Oh, he's coming back. It's gonna be tough for him to win this battle. He's only like we can shoot with our ability. He can't shoot while using his ability. So, oh ah, man, we almost. Okay, now he's backing up. Yeah, run away, man, run away. Oh boom. Ooh, okay, we just broke that shellbot shield in the middle, but then this Ravana came back. Is he just gonna be annoying the whole game and like shoot one? I mean, one time in the back out. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, he's staying out. That's so annoying. Oh, this guy in the center. This guy. Oh, my God. Just go to the other side of the map, man. You're not going to take me out. That Ravana's going to keep coming back. Okay, I'm just reloading my ability here. Oh, man, you saw how fast these weapons broke that Shellbot shield? And on top of all the damage and the insane fire rate on these weapons, we also have Lockdown. A very effective Lockdown, too. Okay, this guy's now playing, like, Peekaboo. What is that, a Griffin or something? Oh, that's the same guy? Oh, my God. <laughs> we take him out? Man! Somebody take him out. Boom, there we go. And so our ability does have a 500 meter range, so it's a bit shorter than my actual weapons. But it's still, you know, it still works out if you move up a little bit. Oh, this guy. Lockdown. Man, I just want a guy to not use his lockdown, or not use his phase shift or his healing and just see how much damage. Okay, this guy's a Fenrir. Holy. That's insane. That Fenrir has the durability legendary pilot. And we just took him out with these weapons. He didn't have his shield going, so he had the super durability resistance. And we just smoked him. Oh, Scorpion. Nice. Boom. Okay, these... Oh my god, these things are insane. <laughs> now we're moving closer. And now we're getting some good shooting lanes. And I, oh, okay, can we get this guy? This is another Fenrir. Man, this thing kills Fenrir at 600 meters. Was that a Typhon? Almost triggered his last stand. Oh, there's a Scorpion there. Let's see if we can dig. What? What? That was insane. We just, he teleported and then he died afterwards, even though we didn't keep shooting. Maybe that's just a bit of lag. I don't know what happened. Shellbot torched him. Okay, these weapons. I don't know if they're overpowered. Uh oh. We just got hit by a Typhon. Uh oh, uh oh. Our health's dropping. Oh no, my my teammate took all the Oh, he stayed alive. My teammate took the fall there. They were gonna take me out, and then my teammate went in front of me. He died a hero. Lift the Avengers' death. 
Okay, I want to stay back because those guys can still hit me when I'm closer. Man, the Magnetar and Pulsar. Jeez, another kill there. Finish off this Typhon. Boom, there we go. Oh, stupid lock-on. Man, this dumb lock-on. I hate the lock-on button. It really annoys me sometimes. I mean, it's better than nothing, but still. Man, if we, we might lose a weapon here. Our health is very low. What is that? Alkin or something? Man. Think about it. This is probably the best range build in the game. It's a 600 meter range. That, that's the same as like the Zeus. And they're doing this much damage and fire this fast and the reloads this fast. Like, it's crazy. I've been in this build for a while now. But, like, I'm dealing this kind of damage. Man, we have 27,000 HP. I don't know how we still have our weapons. I want to take out that flare. Okay, it looks like they're dropping their titans here. We do have a beacon bar lead. So it's not like I have to drop this and push beacons. But if we lose somehow, I don't want to jinx it, it might be my fault. Because I haven't really been pushing beacons. But we'll try to use up this robot and then go forward. Oh, he can't actually hit me. So he has machine guns. So I can sit back at this 570 meter range. I wonder how much it would take to break his shield. I guess we're going to find out. Ooh, the Nodens is up and out. He's locked down, and I think at least half of his shield is broken. Oh my god. We're absolutely ruining this Alming. We just did all that damage, and now the Nodens is helping us. But our legs are busted up. Man. This build is crazy. I'm telling you, if you're running the Ares and you have these weapons, use them. Just leave this robot in the hangar. And I am going to be showing you guys some brawling clips after on smaller maps. But on, if you land on any big map, these things have you covered. Shield broken. We have 11,000 HP. The problem is... I don't know if my team's mecking out right now, so I might have to either leave this bot or just go die. Keeping it suppressed here, that notes. Guy's hiding. 9,000 HP, we still have all of our weapons somehow. Okay, these guys, okay, they have four beacons right now. I'm gonna have to ditch this thing. Okay, boom, alright, we're up, gone. Okay, we gotta win this game. We gotta win this game, bro. Okay, our Loki jump unit. Super speed. Okay, let's push this beacon because my Hawk teammate is in the center. We need beacons. We need beacons. Hopefully these guys don't have more robots. I don't know, though. Jeez, our beacon bar is still draining. We got two beacons now. Okay, my teammate, I think, is getting that one. So let me push the center. Okay, okay. This could work, this could work. Uh oh, this, that Minos is coming this way. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna have to ditch this Loki. Because we have our beacons now, and now we have to protect them. We got four. Four, I think, is gonna be enough. Let me drop on top of this. Ooh, man. That feels like it, I was dropped really far away from the beacon. He just got half that beacon back, just from... Boom, all right, he's out of there. Man, this could be a crazy comeback. Not even a comeback, because we had a huge lead, and then they came back, and now we're coming back. So it's a comeback, comeback. And I actually do have the accelerator module on this Arthur, so it, it's a little bit faster. It is helping us out here, because we're running beacons with it. And after I grab this beacon, yeah, let me just ditch this robot. They got back to their home, but I think, yeah, we've now taken the beacon bar lead. Let's just drop our shell bot. I didn't get a chance to use this shell build with the gust and thunder. And boom, there we go. Man, all of our damage there was with that Ares. That was insane damage we were dealing. 
3.9 million damage, five beacons. And I'm gonna say 90% of that damage was with the Ares alone. So here's some more gameplay that I got on a castle here. So moving to the right side. And while I'm moving, I'm hitting these guys just because I want to lock them down. And then that phantom realizes he's screwed, so he teleports back. So even if you're not damaging them, you can still lock them down and just stop them from moving. Okay, these Ravana's coming at me. I do have the overdrive here, so he's about to trigger it. Boom, it's triggered. I don't want to die, though. Boom, killed. There we go. My teammate didn't really help me out there, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's reload these weapons. So our overdrive is officially triggered. Now we can hit up here. It seems like all the enemies are down there. What is that? Is that an Inquisitor or a Leo? Holy! And that is the power of the Magnetar Pulsar. That guy didn't stand a chance. And when you can lock them down, and then you deal the damage, like this guy, I think this is a Fenrir. This is a Fenrir, and he doesn't have a shield, so that means he has crazy durability. This build should not be dealing this much damage. I want to say it needs a nerf, but like not enough people use these where it's become like this overpower thing. Jeez, this is another Fenrir. Okay, let's see if we can what we can do here. This this is crazy. What? How did we do that? No build should be able to take out that Fenrir with like two clips. This thing is insane. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, that Blitz is coming at me from the top, but this build is crazy, I'm telling you. Definitely try it out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Magnetar Pulsar in the comments. Until next time, peace. Thanks for watching.